When looking for a condo in downtown Seattle, it can get pretty overwhelming seeing all of the high-rise buildings around us. Today, I'm going to break down some of the best condo buildings that you can buy into into the city. Right now, I'm on the top of one of my favorite condo buildings. You'll have to stay till the end of the video to find out what that is. My name is Monica Church. I am a residential real estate agent here in Seattle. I absolutely love helping people find a condo to live in. So if you need help, you can contact me below in the description box. All right, let's get into it. Behind me, we have Nexus. This is a new construction building that was built in 2020. Something different about Nexus is they actually have a lot of studio units. So you can get into an ultra modern building with insane amenities for as low as $350,000. On the flip side, they have some insane sky lofts. These are double tall ceilings, glass staircases, really, really unique units. Nexus is on the corner of Minor and Howell. It's right by the newly finished Washington State Convention Center and right off the I-5 ramps as well. <laughs> Now we're just a couple blocks south on Olive Way. Here we have Olive 8. While Nexus was really bordering the beginning of downtown, this is the heart of downtown, the heart of city living. And what's different about Olive 8 is on one side, it's actually a Hyatt Hotel. On the other side, it's the Olive 8 private residences. This was built in 2009, so with this you're gonna get 1,500, 1,600 square foot, two bedrooms, a little bit bigger than brand new construction, and you share amenities with the hotel, so you get bigger, better amenities than if it were just a private residence. This building behind me looks familiar. No, it is not the Flatiron in New York. This is like our own little mini version. It's called the Seaboard Building. It was built in 1909. It's one of the most historic residences you could live in. You have 10 homes available. One of the homes recently listed was actually home to the family that created Nordstrom just down the street. Now we're on 4th Avenue, right in between where we started and the water, and behind me we have a Scala. Escola was built in 2010. You're gonna get really good square footage for your money here. So a two bedroom, two bathroom might run you around 1600 square feet. Whereas in new construction, you're getting 1000 square feet. So if you want something a little bit more spacious, go for something like Escola. Escola exudes fanciness. This developer, actually, they base the lobby and the amenities off a Las Vegas hotel. Something that makes Escola a little bit different is the vestibules. So one of the only, I think maybe only in Seattle that has vestibules. <laughs> The newest condo building to join the Seattle skylines right behind me, it's called Burst Light. It's gonna be a little bit past 40 stories. This building is going to be next level. The developer is West Bank, who has done several buildings here in Seattle. Most notable, there's gonna be a rooftop infinity pool. And here on 2nd Ave, we have a row of my favorite condo buildings in the entire city. Why is that? Because they have unobstructed water views. So first we're gonna check out Newmark Tower. This was built in the 90s. Then we have 1521, one of the most luxurious buildings. This was built in the early 2000s. And then my all time favorite right now, the Emerald came out in 2021 and it really, it really is a gem. Okay, let's go. Newmark Tower is right at the base of Pike Place Market and it has a target on the bottom level. So I know what you're thinking. Wow, this would make the perfect Airbnb. Well, this is one of the few condo buildings where short-term rentals are actually allowed. So they allow a minimum of seven day rentals and it truly is made for it. There's a pool, there's a hot tub, there's a nice gym and patio. You're gonna get the best bang for your buck in this building because it is the oldest, but it is in really good condition. So a two bedroom, two bathroom is gonna run you around $800,000, whereas 1521 next door, it's gonna be $2 million. And at Emerald, Next door to that, it's gonna be $1.2 million. A one bedroom in Newmark Tower is around $400,000. We're right at Pike Place right here, and that is 1521. That is how crazy cool this location is. 1521's a little different because they only built two bedroom units. Average price points around $2 million to get into this building. Built in 2008 with really high quality materials that you don't quite get in new construction today. And lastly, we're here at the Emerald. 
my all-time favorite building here in downtown Seattle. My favorite part about the Emerald, what really makes it sparkle, is the amenity spaces on the top floor, the Olympic room. It's amazing, let's go check it out. Okay, it's pretty cool up here. And honestly, it's not uncommon for new construction condo buildings to have this cool of amenities, this 360 degree rooftop with all this stuff going on. What makes the Emerald extra special is it's right up to the Puget Sound. It has unobstructed views of the water that are never going away. As far as living the Emerald, you can find one bedroom starting in the five to 600 thousands. Two bedrooms are in the 1.1, 1.2 range up to 2 million. One thing that's gonna make a huge difference in your price point though is the view. So you pay more for a water view. So to give you an idea, there is a two bedroom listed on the 18th floor right now with city views and a partial water view. This is 1.18 million. Then on the 22nd floor, there's another two bedroom with full water views couple floors up, this is at 1.5 million. So that's about a 25% premium you're paying for all water views. Personally, I think the city views with a partial water view is a better value, but if you want that full water view, no matter where you're buying a condo, no matter what building in downtown Seattle, you're paying a premium. You're gonna be paying a markup, more money for a water view versus a city view. You guys might recognize this building if you watch my vlogs because my sister Shelby and I actually rented a unit here. Here's a quick look in the home that we lived in. This is the 01 stack, that two bedroom that I mentioned. This one's on the 30th floor. This is my favorite floor plan in the whole building. It comes with one parking spot. The living space is just so big big and amazing. You get fantastic city views, but you also get a great slice of water view for a lot less than that water view price that I was talking about. Here's the first bedroom, great city views. Second bedroom, there's two bathrooms. I'm just showing one. This is the ensuite bathroom from the primary bedroom. Absolutely loved it here. Here's a quick look at a one bedroom unit that has south facing views. And here is a one bedroom unit on the 10th floor with a little sliver of a water view. Right across the street, that's Pike Place Market. How crazy is this location? Seriously, I love the Emerald so much. I have clients I've helped buy in here and I hang out on this roof, probably more than some of the residents. So if you can get a partial water in city, it's kind of the best of both worlds at a more bang for your buck price point. Every building is gonna have different pros and cons and every street corner has a different feel to it. Buying a condo in Seattle doesn't have to be that overwhelming. Once you get in the door of some of these properties, you'll find the one that feels like home. Now I didn't hit every single condo building, so if you guys want a part two going to other condos or if you want me to head to Bellevue and show you guys those downtown condos, definitely leave me your suggestions in the comments. And of course, if you're looking to buy or sell your downtown condo, I would love to help you. You can hop in my car as it unlocks and I will show you around and help you find the right fit. I have extensive knowledge on these buildings. I absolutely love condos. So as always, link in the description to get in contact with me. See you guys next time. Bye.